Right, the first part of this question wants you to write as a single fraction uh, two different fractions that have been taken away from each other. So we need a common denominator and because we can see here that we've got x plus 3 and x plus 1 it's not going to be a quick um, division so the quickest way of doing this is similar to if we had a half plus a third then the quickest way to get the, the common denominator is to do two threes so two times three would be six. Uh, we do the same with the algebra so if we multiply the top of this fraction by x plus 1 and the bottom of this fraction by x plus 1 then that's going to give us a common denominator because when we multiply the second fraction by x plus 3 and x plus 3 x plus 1 then what we've done is we've made both the fractions have a common denominator of x plus 3, x plus 1 but this one was missing the x plus 1 so we had to multiply by top and bottom the same like we do any fractions uh, same as if we had to change these then we change that into 6 and then into 6 we'd multiply this one by 3 the opposite number there and we'd multiply this one by 2 so the opposite number there so the same thing happens here we've literally multiplied the first fraction by the opposite uh, denominator and top and bottom and the same with this one we've multiplied by the opposite denominator top and bottom because that obviously doesn't change the value of the fraction just change the way it looks so we've now got our common denominator which is x plus 3 x plus 1 but then we've just got to multiply these brackets and because it's the simplest we've just got to make sure like terms are brought together so we can see from here we've got 6x take away 2x which is 4x and then we've got 6 times 1 which is 6 and then we've got 2 times 3 which is 6 and we've got 6 take away 6 which is nothing so our final answer will be 4 over uh, sorry 4x over x plus 3 x plus 1 now again we should really check that this works um, by putting in uh, some simple numbers so if I put in uh, a value of 1 here then I can see that 6 over 1 plus 3 makes 6 quarters 1 plus 1 is 2 2 divided by 2 is 1 so we've got 6 quarters take away 1 well 6 quarters is the same as 1 and a half so this gave me an answer of a half when x was 1 so this should also give us the same when x is 1 so let's have a look 1 plus 3 is 4 1 plus 1 is 2, 4 times 2 is 8, so we're going to have 8 on the bottom, and 4 times 1 is 4, so 4 eighths cancels to 1 half, so both of these gave us a half, so we're going to be quite confident that the final answer was 4x over x plus 3, x plus 1. Now the second part of this question is asking you to simplify fully um, a fraction with the top being a quadratic with a constant term at the end and the bottom being a quadratic as well. Now none of the, neither of these quadratics have common factors so it looks like it's going to be two brackets on top and two brackets on the bottom. So because I know the bottom is the difference of two squares 4x squared comes from 2x times 2x and 1 comes from 1 times 1 then the bottom brackets 2x and 2x, the square root of 4x squared is 2x and the square root of 1 is 1 so it will be 2x plus 1, 2x minus 1 now again because we're going to simplify uh, we use our mathematical skills to recognize one of the top brackets has to be the same as one of the bottom otherwise we're not going to get into simplify so we know that we're going to start with 2x and x because we want to make 2x squared I'm trying to make negative 5, so we do need one of these to be plus and one of these to be minus, but I'm also trying to create um, quite a few uh, negative x's here, negative 9. Um, the only way we're going to make 5 though, a uh, prime number, is 1 times 5, so it looks like if I put plus 5 here, that's going to give me 10 x's, um, but I actually want negative, so I'll actually change that to minus 10 x, and plus 1 here. Now let's see if that works. Um, 2x times x is 2x squared, 2x times negative 5 is negative 10x, but then I've got positive x there, so that makes it up to negative 9x, positive 1 times that, negative 5. So this looks like that's going to work. Um, I have got what I wanted to happen, I've got two brackets on the top and bottom here which are the same, so they cancel each other through to make 1. So my final answer is x minus 5 over 2x minus 1. Again, don't need the brackets now because that is the final answer. Again, we should check. So if we put a simple value in of 1 into this, 
then we can see that the top would be 2, take away 9, that's negative 7, take away 5 is negative 12. 4 times 1 squared is 4, so 4 take away 1 is 3, so this gave me an answer of negative 4. So this should give me the same. So what have we got? We've got 1 take away 5, which is negative 4. We've got 2 take away 1, which is positive 1. So this gives me an answer of negative 4. So our check has shown us that both ways we get negative 4. So we can be reasonably confident that our final answer would be x minus 5 over 2x take away 1.